So what is the situation? Do you want to get out right now? I want out as soon as possible. My name is Lauren Black. I am 20 years old, and I'm a member of the FLDS Church. My whole family, mom, dad, all the kids, all uh, got sent away. Why haven't you been kicked out to repent? It's probably because uh, I know a lot of trades, and so I can bring in a lot of money. Um. And if I bring in that money, I'll pay it into the church. So you're basically like a worker well, bee. Yeah. You're basically a servant to the church. Right now, I'm working at a mechanic shop, and Milo is my employer. I've been working with him for five years. Over those five years, I have done every trade. Milo would be a totally awesome, perfect employer to work for if he wasn't in the church. OK, I just have to know, you look like you could take care of yourself. Why did you call us? Because it's always nice to have an ally in a fight. Well, we have a, a testimony meeting every Sunday night where you get up and you bear your testimony of your beliefs in the church. Uh -huh. But I'm going to get up and do the opposite. <laughs> oh my God! I'm going to get up and tell them that I'm done. That uh, I want. I've made my choice and I'm out, and they're not going to be able to change it. So after you make your speech, you're just going to go pack up and go. Yeah. If you have a car. I have six trucks. What six? Yeah. And they're all coming. Yeah. Do you need How any of us to drive? drive those? Yeah, I'm going to need drivers. Hello? This is the uh, phone line I'm going to be doing the live audio with. OK. A typical church service for the FLDS is not much different from anyone else's church service. But the big difference is they follow a prophet who is in prison for molesting little girls, and they don't see anything wrong with it. I'm grateful for this opportunity to stand before each and every one of you. I've made the choice in my life. I'm leaving. I figured I'd just get up and let everybody know instead of sneak out in the night. Okay, it's over. Okay, we are headed your way. Is that him? Yeah. Okay, that's him. Okay, should we just run in with you right now? I okay, know, yeah. let's go. Right here. Okay, what do you need help carrying? Uh, everything's pretty much ready to go. We're taking the basket, the, the box, and the... Whoa, 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 whoa. get Turn your hands off. off the camera. Turn it off. You have no business doing that. We are invited here by him. We can stay here. He invited us. When he's got all the stuff, then we can go. Do you go right now? No, we'll go when he's ready to go. Anything? Don't mind one one. Get the officer yeah, boots. You want? Yeah, that'd be great. Grab the boots. I okay. got them. I got them. I got them. You got them? I got them. You just take care of us, Matt. Yeah, I got you. Then do you want us to follow you to the trucks or what? I'll just go right around and out. Out back. Out back that way? OK, we're going to go follow him in the truck. Where's Matt? Are we ready? Matt! Did you park? Huh? We're helping him move. That's it. He asked for help. For what? To leave. To leave what? To leave. What's that? It's a bunch of. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're losing light fast. And this is your last one, right? Yeah. Okay, look out. There it goes. Oh, wow. I'm watching Lauren drag his trucks out, and I'm just like, I feel for this guy. These trucks are a representation of everything that Lauren has worked for and everything that he is. That's Milo's right here with the light on. The only thing that's bugging me right now is, is Milo. I miss you. I know, it's, I really appreciated you and all you've done for me and stuff. You know, it's, it's hard, but. He has definitely become that father figure in my life. This is bringing tears to my eyes, but it's my own decision. I live with it. Felt like I could probably lose everybody in the world, but as long as I had my there, I'd make it. 